Alrighty. Here we go. Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin. It's almost three in the morning. <laughs> I was gonna wait to do this because I'm still in the middle of filming it for Elden Ring. There was a beta for Salt and Sacrifice this weekend. But I figured, why not? You know what I mean? Maybe I can squeeze... Squeeze a little Final Fantasy Origin video in tomorrow as well. Why not? They had two trials and a demo. Played them all. Loved them all. I've played Neo. I beat Neo too. And all the DLCs. Really enjoy Team Ninja. And what they got going on. So I figured, hey. It's a no-brainer, right? This is a pretty epic intro. The graphics um, for the final game definitely looked a lot, definitely look a lot more clean. Excuse me. Hmm. think so brother we're on normal mode <laughs> starting me off at the boss right away okay Manifestation of the soul. I got a trophy already. See, this hey, was Roger. this was a good idea. It looks man. like it. <laughs> then why doesn't it feel like it? Because that was not a real boss fight. That wasn't real, Jack. I did it my way. Okay, so this is literally, and no, these gra I mean these graphics right here are super crunchy. I'm playing on the PlayStation Five on a 4K TV in performance mode, but it didn't. It doesn't look like they clean this up much at all. And this is literally, um, it looks like just the beginning of the newest demo that they dropped. So we will do the tutorial. Hi. Defeat Goblin. Yep. Okay. Nice. 
I wonder what the um, favorite graphics mode. I wonder if that's still 60 FPS or if this goes all the way up to 120 in the performance mode. The yellow bar above an enemy is its break gauge. Attack the enemy to deplete the gauge. Break enemies by completely depleting their break gauge. Approach broken enemies and press circle to finish them off with a soul burst. Yep. Step on his head. Yeah. Yep. Slaying enemies with a soul burst will recover your MP and raise your max MP. Nice. Hold the circle to deplete your break gauge and adopt the soul shield stance. Blocking an attack in the stance will restore MP and increase your max MP. Press R1 after a successful block to lunge forward and unleash a normal attack. Uh, that's so satisfying. I love that. Nice. I love that parry mechanic. Soul Shield is an extremely powerful counter that will stagger an enemy while raising your max MP. However, it will greatly reduce your break gauge, so a failed Soul Shield may end up putting you in hot water. Oh yeah? Guarding, on the other hand, will greatly will greatly reduce the amount of break damage you take. It's a safe way to reduce the threat of incoming attacks. Start combat by guarding to get a feel for your enemy's attacks, then gradually mix encounters with Soul Shield as you get more comfortable with the flow of battle. The amount of MP gained by Soul Shield is directly proportional to the amount of break damage a blocked attack would have dealt. Soul Shield is an effective countermeasure against big, damaging attacks, but guarding and evasion are better strategies against faster attacks that hit more often. Okay. Instant Abilities. When you deflect an enemy ability with a purple name using Soul Shield, that ability will become usable as an instant ability. Activate instant abilities by pressing square. Instant abilities do not consume MP, but their number of uses is limited. Ooh. Okay. Nice. I got two stones, baby. Two stones. Lightbringer. When your max MP has increased to two or more full gauges, you can spend MP and max MP to cast Lightbringer. While Lightbringer is active, enemies become easier to soul burst, which is very helpful when you are surrounded by foes. For more information, see the relevant entry in the tips section. Thank you, stranger. Combat in this game is really fun. It's a lot of fun. I like what they did with this. <laughs> Excuse me. For the snort. Let's leave the area. Alrighty.
Neo 2 was really good at making the combat feel complex but really fun at the same time. It wasn't too much to take in and it was really enjoyable. And we have a cut, another cutscene. So I'm going to drink some more water. What's up, brother? Hmm. Look, the crystals can sense each other. You have one too, don't you? Hey. My mission is to kill chaos. That's all I know. We all Me got too. the crystal, baby. Good. We're all in the same hunt. I'm Jack. Jed. Ash. Jack Jedash, who just bro fist bumps just meeting somebody. Jack Jed and Ash, okay, I was gonna read that. Several weeks have passed since that day. Now our three heroes return in triumph, their quest complete. We're on a boat. How long ago was that? I'm on a boat. Look at the fashion. Look at the drip. Hmm. What? Need something for that? Hmm. It's just a scratch. Huh. Nothing a little spit can't heal. <laughs> when are she we gonna fight chaos? Well, this monster hunting is a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seriously. Fingers crossed we're done. Does he have the... The skater shoes on? Either way, time to pay the king a visit. Look how big Ombo's arms are. My goodness. Answers. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Got Beavis and Butthead going here. The world lies shrouded in darkness. The winds die. The seas languish. The earth decays. But. The people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. Three o'clock in the morning, y'all. the world, four warriors of light shall come. <laughs> you are skilled, to be sure. Few could have slain even one of those abominations, let alone three. There is still the matter of your number, however. When darkness veils the world, Four warriors of light shall come. And your crystals troubled. This is a strange collaboration. Sure. Can't argue with that. But you need warriors, right? <laughs> Look in front of you. Here we are, ready and willing to take chaos down for you. And with all due respect, isn't that what matters most? Perhaps. I love his drip. Yet a question still weighs on my mind. Warriors of the Dark Crystals, why court danger so eagerly? Look at the what good hair. What possibly hope to gain? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Yeah. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger, a thirst. Hmm. They have rehab for that, Jack. Does that answer your question? Very well. Minister Lago, fetch the key to the shrine. My lord. Jack. Ash. Jed. I place the future of Cornelia in your hands. How hot is that, though? He's got to be. Sw His armpits are damp. Do not fail us. He gotta be hot as hell. <laughs> Castle Cornelia. Okay, and we're in the game. Dude, what is going on with these graphics? I'll deliver the key to you in the morning. Make your preparations and wait for me at the city gates. Until then. 
They, these graphics are looking crazy. Many warriors have come before us, but you are different somehow. I expect great deeds. Hmm, I wonder if I should have played this with Japanese and then English subtitles. It seems like their mouths are moving, um, not in American, or in American, English. You look every bit the warrior. I can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. Even oh, so, shucks. I kindly ask that you <laughs> smile in front of my daughters. May the crystal's blessing be with you always. We await news of your victory. Okay, you got to do the classic RPG thing where you ask them multiple questions in a row till they start repeating themselves. May the crystal's blessing be with you all. Okay, we have reached that point. Cornelia is counting on you to save us. From oh, this the is Princess Mia. She's like twelve. Are. May the crystal's blessing be with you always. Strange, strange graphics. I wonder where Sarah went. She said she wanted to speak with you, but... I wonder where Sarah... Okay. And we're out of here. And another cutscene. Trying to play the game. What's going on? <laughs> Princess Sarah. The people love her. <sighs> like a flower blooming in a dark wasteland. You okay, bro? <laughs> hmm. <sighs> He's trying to avoid her, like. <laughs> Wouldn't kill you to smile for once. <sighs> Because he knows she's about to ask him to do a bunch of. <laughs> and with a few more scars. Nah, it's nothing. Jack has the best medicine. Oh, that's wonderful. In that case, if it's not too much trouble, would you be able to spare some power soldiers? <laughs> Look at old boy. Is there? Is there something you want? There is. You are an asshole. <laughs> I heard you were going to the shrine, so I thought this would be my only chance to ask. A favor? Two, actually. Of oh, course. Two. There was a knight oh, okay. by the name of Garland who set off to battle Chaos as well. <clears throat> he never returned. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Look, we don't have time for a rescue mission, princess. I understand. You don't need to go. That water is hitting. Keep an eye out for him. What does he look like? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. He towered over the other knights. Even so, his voice was always warm. How long ago was this? Perhaps ten years ago. Ten years ago? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. It seems just like yesterday. Let me pull that right up for you. The minister, not my father. They say a knight by the name of Garland never existed. <laughs> He's like, get on with it. We'll see what we can do about your missing knight. <sighs> Thank you, Jack. <sighs> Jack, wait. The other favor. Come back, Saint. And soon. <clears throat> May the crystal's blessing be with you. Always. That dress is hidden. It's a good color on her. I never understood that about Your dresses, though. Too? Don't yeah. the skirt get yeah. dirty, though? Forget it. We need to focus. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Let's get some rest. Yo, these guys got no drip, dude. Zero drip. Hey, Jack. Just the guy I wanted to see. I heard you're off to the shrine tomorrow. Why don't you spend the night here? Yeah. Great. Come on in. 
these there's something up with these graphics man I don't know what's going on here news of your departure will soon spread and failure will leave a stain on the king's reputation bear this in mind travel northwest and you will reach the chaos shrine go with the crystal's blessing maybe I should flip it over to um, resolution and see how it looks Fancy keys and some like big... chaos has been waiting for us. <laughs> you gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Like he can hear you, bro. Whole ass castle. He's talking about you're gonna make us come in there and find you. He can't hear you, Jed. This will be a walk in the park. Come on, but watch yourselves. Rest of the cube. Uh-huh. Enemy spot. Let's go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Easy enough. about press left or right to activate an ally's resonance state during which they will use their abilities more aggressively ash show me what you can do Okay, we all leveled up. Nice. Very cool. You can you can't jump in this, so like if I wanted to jump up there, that's not possible. Unfortunately. Yeah, this is the rock throwing. Right? Throw that rock, baby. Oh, whoop. Oh, he kind of glitched out a little bit there. Twilight tunic. Um, Okay, so this increases our physical and magical defense, so let's get some new drip on. And I will be changing um, my clothes a lot, just fair warning. If that's something you don't like to see or if that annoys you, click off. <laughs> click off now. Back. There's one down there. Let's t Switching, you can instantly change from one battle set to the other with triangle each set has its own break gate switch carefully between the two to give yourself an edge in battle yeah. all right nice we got to level up on that baby too Enemies and staggering. Some enemies cannot be staggered by regular attacks. Soul shield and action abilities, however, can still stagger them. In addition, using left or right will cause your allies to use abilities more frequently. Stagger enemies first, then move in to deal the killing blow. This is the one. Nailed. 
Who's the one? This is the one. No, I was just like, get off me, boy. Getting sloppy. Nice one, Jack. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. See, look at how quick he healed. That's how it should be in every game. I can't stand in from software games how long it takes to heal. It should be instant. Okay. That looks like a okay. I was gonna say that looks like a ladder drop. More of those cubes. Let's have a look. Job tree. Upon leveling up, you you will be rewarded with job points. Job points can be used on the job tree to unlock skills and abilities. You can access the tree from various locations, including cubes and the world map. Job trees. Um, and decreases damage taken. I like that. I like that. Oh, you have to hold it. Okay. Increases swordsman job affinity. I'm not sure what that means. Duelist. Increases duration of Lightbringer. Yeah. Um, okay. And we didn't pick up any new drip, I don't believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Twilight Bracers. Physical, magic, and stamina all go up. I like it. I don't, couldn't tell you how many times I've fallen down there and had to go back around. <laughs> L3 sprinting feels nice. Guarding against magical or magic damage. Magic attacks like fire will still deal some damage even if you guard. Continuous hits with certain attacks will inflict status ailments. Additionally, Taking damage from the same element repeatedly will make you vulnerable to that element, temporarily allowing subsequent attacks of the same type to deal even greater damage. I'm going to try to um, use... Let's see how much fire that thing can eat. It's not even aiming for me though. Alrighty. Nice. I got a pale bandana. Physical magic and agility, okay. We got the headband drip. And, oh, and we got a level four great sword, which is increasing magic, physical. Defense and offense and stamina. Yes. 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 Um, how can we, how do we do the other party members though? Okay, here we go. Oh, we can have him him with the twilight. Oh no, cuz I am I'm wearing that. Okay. They don't have any drip yet. No hand me down drip from my folk. Nice. 
Um, we're gonna avoid that. Stay out of the flames unless you yeah. get cooked. Let's find no. another way around. What the hell was that? They got a pale protector, so here we go. Wait, could I wear that? Yes, I can. Okay, I'll take it then. Multi-slot multi equipment. About some single pieces of equipment take up multiple slots. For example, the pale protector occupies both the body and leg slots. Although you sacrifice an equipment slot, items of this type make up for it by offering higher stats. Yes. Okay, so then I can switch you to the tunic. Does he have any drip? You have no drip yet, dude. You're last on the chain, brother. <laughs> I love it. Nice. This is awesome. I love it. The combat is a lot of fun. Some new drip. No. No. I'll keep that. No. Hey, I got some new boots. Okay, and I can pass some of this off to you. You got a cool new weapon. You can get some boots. Twilight trousers. Wait. Where no. Give you the bracers. Okay. Give you the bandana. He has no drip. He got a bandana. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh oh, here we go with 
with this. This thing is crazy. Ow. Stop. Dude, guys. Guys. Oh my goodness. Dude, my guys are like doing nothing. Dude, get this thing. Hello. Guys. Yeah, definitely got to get those for the gear. No, but Homeboy will get gear now. Okay. We should get him in. We should get him in some gear. <clears throat> or maybe not. Here we go. I guess you got some gloves, dude. So most of this trip will go to him. Oh, got an upgraded tunic. That's it. She just got an upgraded tunic. Okay. Man, I thought that was better gear than that. Okay. Oh goodness. We got three job points. Onslaught. Abilities. Equip acquired abilities from the battle settings menu. You can reach the menu by pressing X while selecting the acquired ability. And we got one for Duelist. Combo abilities. Equip combo abilities from the battle settings menu. Combo abilities can be used by pressing R2 during a normal attack. Onslaught. Raging Slash. And then spinning slash. Okay, so these are the combination. R1, R2 is onslaught. R1, R1, R2 is raging slash. Okay. Got it. So, R1, R2. Okay. All right, got it. Hermit club. I don't. Get through those flames. I Why didn't. Do the trick? I didn't get this in um, the network test either, or not the network test, the demo. 
Equip a mace in the battle settings. In battle settings. Battle settings. And like it says equip a mace. I don't have a mace. I still don't get this. Is it this thing? What? Yes. Confirm. Maces and mages. Mages are masters of utilizing action abilities to break enemies. Normal attacks with a mace will recover ample MP and charged attacks can take big chunks out of an enemy's break gauge, allowing mages to break foes all the faster. Mages can cast spells with R2 and recover MP while casting. Okay. So... Uh, so we get close here, R2. Try not to get hit. <laughs> Come on, man. How do I do this? R2. Okay. What does this have to say? Attributes. Each attack has individual attributes. Physical attacks have the slash, pierce, or strike attributes, while magic attacks have the fire, ice, lightning, earth, water, wind, holy, or dark attributes. Some enemies are weak to certain attributes and take greatly increased break damage from attacks sharing those attributes. No, that's definitely not what I did. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm messing up here. I'm about to die. This is gonna take some getting used to with the magic, dude. I have... No clue. So when that's so like okay. Time for a change. All right. Yeah, I already read that one. Okay, how long has this been? Oh, okay. So I know I didn't make it very far, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here for the introduction episode. Um, we had a lot of cutscenes, so that's probably what took most of the I time can't up. Do this for much longer. What do you think, Jack? Do we keep going? But we got a little bit of action. We got to use the um, mage. We got to use the heavy sword. We got to use these. Um, so in the next episode of Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin, we're going to be fighting the boss of this area. So I'll see you guys next in that episode. Peace.